at this. Just, just go, just go around. Ooh. Okay, so we're at this place called Klein's Corners, and it's in Klein's Corners. Um, and it's just basically a little passing through town. They have this huge rest stop or travel stop. And the store inside is really neat. I mean, it's a gas station. There's plenty of room, which is really, really nice for us. But you go in and there's like, they have homemade fudge and candies. They've got like a whole candy section. And then it's kind of like Bucky's where they have a bunch of merchandise. Yeah. Um, and then in the by the bathrooms, they've got several of these little like caricature things, but they also had Zoltar machine. And it just makes me think of big. Yeah. Um, so of course I had to do it. But my little fortune says, your future life will be very sunny. I see in it a chest full of money. Be free to spend it as you see fit because there will be plenty more of it. You are a fortunate person. You were born under a lucky star and that will carry you safely through all of your ventures. In time, your love life will be something for the world to talk about. You will be extremely happy. There will be those who envy you and try to harm you. Just really learn who your true friends are and all will go very well with you. Your lucky stone is a ruby. And then it gives you lucky numbers and at the very bottom it says for entertainment purposes only. Ha. But they also had one where it's an outhouse and you put a dollar in and you can open the door and there's like this old, old man sitting in there or something and he starts talking to you. So I'm not quite sure what it is, but a kid was, I walked by and I saw it. It's creepy. Well, I was like, you didn't pay a dollar for it. No, no, I probably would have. <laughs> yeah, probably would have. done it. I was curious. It's just a cute little stop and what I really like about it is how much room there is. And we pulled in and that one was, that spot right there was open. So Rainbow. we just pulled right through and then we pulled around and now we're parked here. So this is a pretty decent little stop. It's a nice little passing through stop. Pete, what was the dilemma? Uh, nothing, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so one of our hoses, mainly this one, did not quite reach. <laughs> but. You picked too far from. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's okay. That's okay, we have a plan. Oh my gosh, get it out of here. Don't step on the babies. There's gonna be a big drop soon. It's like depressing toys New for our toys. <laughs> yeah, a poop hose extender. Because <laughs> the whole story with, you know, me parking too far away from our end it or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, we've been needing to actually replace uh, the water filter on the RV, but next best thing is, I guess, put a water filter at the source. Mm -hmm. And so we still have the other filter in there, and I'm sure it's probably not doing much for us. But then we also filter our water inside through a bitter, 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 bitter pitcher. Hopefully it's like a three-phase filter, even though it's the same filter. It's not like charcoal filters or anything like that, but yeah, it'll, it'll do. Hook them up. You want to come see? Yeah. All right. Yeah. On the back Awesome. I'm glad we have that because this is probably not the first time this guy happened. So yeah, flipping the gray first because it's less important to remember like it, we can allow some gray to get out just in case this doesn't work. But here we go. Making sure there's no leaks. 
Seems good. My man. <laughs> what are you doing, little creep? <laughs> your little backpack. Carrying your poop bags. <laughs> Go away. Lay down. Give us two seconds. Good boy. Yeah, you block that way. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the drive. That long. Yeah. So we might have done that a little too fast. It's a little bit. It kind of took off a little late as well. Yeah, so as y'all know, I got sick. You can still hear the remnants of it, but I think it's just allergies now. One, I haven't been sick in years, but I think I got hit with a sickness as well as allergies at the same time. So it was like a double whammy. It was awful. So I've been pretty much recovering since we got here. Yeah. We ended up leaving late on Sunday, a lot later than what we had wanted to because we didn't know if I was going to be too sick to travel. So we were kind of waiting it out. I started feeling a lot better by the afternoon, so we left around 1. Which was 5 or 6 hours later than what I wanted. How long did we drive for? We drove for a while. We drove for, I think it was an 8 hour trek from San Marcos to Roswell. No, it was longer. <laughs> no, I mean like on Google Maps, I think it was 8 okay. something hours. Yeah. We, I'll we put drove... it up on the screen, but I mean Ooh. with stops. Because we stopped yeah. every hour and a half or so. It was about 10 or 11 hours for our first trek from, from San Marcos all the way to Roswell. Yeah, it was um, a long There were a lot of stops depending on, I mean, the dogs did great. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually it's like when we first started driving with Brady again, you know, in the back seat, he basically threw up every time. Every yeah. single time. And that was driving 15 minutes. Yeah. It was nothing. They made it, I mean, on this 15 hour trip and no. No mm -hmm. nope, they did no really, anything. really well. Um, they just laid down because I think they realized that we were going to be in the car for a while. So they just laid down and slept. Yeah. And then whenever we took them for walks, you know, they did their business and they did fine. They did wonderfully. But yeah, we definitely took that first day a lot longer than what we had wanted. And I don't think that we will ever drive that distance with the trailer again. Yeah. Because there's not a hurry. The, the only reason that we had to hurry was because we already had the reservation for Monday and we wanted to make the bulk of Sunday driving. So we just kind of bit the bullet. Like we were both in agreement, so let's go ahead and do this. And by the time we reached West Texas, like that area, getting towards New Mexico, there was nowhere to stay. So even if we were tired and needed, well not, I mean emergency, yeah, we could have pulled over like yeah. if somebody was falling asleep. But even if we had felt like pulling over and staying somewhere. There were no other Walmarts. Like we didn't even have travel stops where we could have stopped and stayed overnight safely. So we knew that getting to Roswell was going to be the safest thing for us. So we were like, let's push the extra couple hours, hmm. go ahead and get there. We know that it's going to be okay to stay there. Then it was just a nice four or so more hours the next day. It was like six because uh, stops and everything. So yeah, it was a good amount of time on the road this, this time. Um, I mean, I guess normal time, but I wish we could have broken it up within three days. That would have made things a lot easier. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the boondocking in Walmart was fun. I mean, it, I liked it. It's my kind of thing. I mean, not exactly your kind of thing, but yeah. Um, I didn't mind it. It was easy. It's all in the video. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. And so, I mean, everything was, was easy on that side. And then, uh, but yeah, the drive was, was starting to get to me whenever we were coming through the mountains. And so uh, what I was doing was uh, basically just trying to do it in smaller spurts once we got into the mountains, um, just because I didn't want it too much wear and tear on the truck all at one time. And so I didn't want it overheating, uh, which it didn't. I mean, the truck took it like a champ, but mm -hmm. one thing is the truck uh, that we have, it's a 5.0, and so you put the pedal down, uh, not all the way, and I just like get it to where you make like, the metal. Sort of, I mean, by the, by the end of this trip, <laughs> I knew exactly where to put my foot to make it do what I wanted it to do. And so I put it down to where I needed to, and it's literally a, a lag time of like, 20 or 30 seconds before it actually catches up and actually starts pushing up the mountain. So by that time, you lose a lot of your momentum. So I played that game all the way through. Yeah, um, that was we we did worry quite a bit starting to get into the hilly, mountainous areas. Yeah. Um, every time we saw one coming, we're like, all right, get ready. Let's see who's behind us. Because yeah. first of all, they need to pass beforehand. And if we went like super slow, I was like, let's put our hazards on just so people know that we know that we're going super slow. But it really wasn't that <laughs> bad. We had two or three spots where we just had a little bit of 
a little bit of trouble like just getting up. No, I mean it's just certain areas. Or it was like 65, I guess. But still, it's mm -hmm. we were 20 below at certain times, and it's just not where I wanted to be. I tried to keep it pretty much 10 under, five under the whole time. So I, I tried to drive somewhat leisurely along the way, mm -hmm. um, not pushing the truck too hard, um, and that that worked pretty well for me. I don't know. I thought we got there pretty easily. Yeah, I mean we didn't so. have any issues on the road. Every time we stopped, we checked the trailer, and we didn't just. I was making fun of him in the last video, you know, like, I, like, flicked the trailer, I was like, we're good. But, I mean, we legitimately checked everything, because I know that, I mean, we're driving a long way, and this thing bumps, like, it moves around, so we know that things can get knocked out of place. It's always important to check the tires at every stop, make sure there's nothing weird <coughs> looking. We were very, very cautious, and I, I mean, I think that's the best way to go, because this is our home. Like, this has everything that we own in it. You can never be too careful with it. So I'd rather drive a little bit slower and, you know, be more cautious, get everything here safely than be like, ah, whatever, and then yeah. do that. So, you know, with that in mind, for any other long trips and on the way home, you know, whenever we're heading home next month, we're definitely going to take our time and we're going to stop a couple places along the way and we're not going to push for eight to ten um, on the way home. Yeah. We're not going to do that all in one day. But it was stressful, but we made it. And I think that now that we have had that many hours in one day with the trailer, that kind of takes a lot of the worry off for me because I, you know, I just didn't know. We'd never driven this far with the trailer, so it was one of those things like the unknown is makes me worry and makes me anxious. Right. But I feel a lot better now. And physically, I feel a lot better, so that helps too because I was pretty miserable driving up. Yeah, we've just been kind of resting. I've been resting a kind lot. I'm actually going to try and get a workout in and see how that feels. I'm going to do some stuff outside. I was going to say, during the week, like, all we're doing is staying in the one small area of town because we're kind of forced to for my work. Really, it's it's time to rest. You know, we basically sit and just do some work and get some things done. And then on the weekends, uh, we're planning to just treat it like home. You know, the, mm -hmm. let's go do something. Let's go find something to do. You mm -hmm. know? That'll be our time. So. I think that <clears throat> a lot of people think that we're on a vacation. And although it is partly for pleasure, a yeah. lot of it is for work. You know, he's, I've still got my, my online stuff going on. And then he's got his normal eight to five work schedule that he's dealing with and we always have to make sure that he's in service like he has self-service wherever we are and being in the mountains you never know it's like we drove a little bit further that way towards another part of town and he lost service completely like it, it's strange so we just We're have like to make a sure away from losing service it's weird yeah so it's we like just have right to there. make sure to to stay within service during the week for him and then weekends, it's kind of time for us to be a little more flexible and we can play a little bit more. So I'm really excited about showing you guys some of the fun in the area. And who knows what we're going to get into. And we also don't know where we're going to be in a couple weeks. So well, right. I think that's going to be it for today's video. We just wanted to sum up our thoughts on the drive. We made it here safe. Again, I'm feeling a lot better. I know a lot of you guys were wishing us well as far as travels and the sickness. And we appreciate every single one of them. I feel like they all helped a little bit. It's like every little bit just kind of sprinkles a little bit more happiness and health on us. So we appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure and subscribe. We are the Wondering Wyatts and we're finally wondering and I know a lot of you guys are excited about it just as we are and I'm really excited to be feeling better because I can actually enjoy everything that much more. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure and hit that thumbs up before you go. Mm -hmm. And I, do you have anything else to add? Not yet. I will add a lot more with uh, future videos and everything that we're doing. Cool. So, yeah. And if there's any questions that you guys have about the trip, about the travels, make sure and leave them below. If there's anything in particular that you would like to see, leave it below. Yep. Okay. We look forward to talking to you guys. Look forward to talking to you guys in the comments. And we will see you all in the next video. <laughs> well, have fun out there. Bye, guys. Oh, Buzz! Buzz, what are you doing? Hi! Hi! Oh, we didn't expect for this to happen, so we did a thing. We may or may not have gotten a new trailer. You want to show them our new rig? Yeah. Oh my gosh.